Hi, we are Nice, standing for Never Ending International World Camps Exchange. Our organization was established in 1990, so 25 years ago, and uh, our headquarters is located in Tokyo. We are international voluntary service organizations, especially World Camp organizations. So we organize uh, different type of international work camp, or weekend work camp, long-term voluntary service and on environment or culture or whatever uh, local people need it. Yeah, we work on uh, various issues, for example, the forest protection is one of the most necessary things uh, for voluntary work in Japan, or um, playing with uh, children or kids camp and also one of the important thing is to work on the post disaster uh, relief project uh, after the giant earthquake happened in Fukushima or Tohoku. Okay, it's uh, from one day to one year. So you're also welcome to join our weekend orchards. We accept volunteers to bring, you know, the happy mood, a constructive uh, um, atmosphere, and you know, friendly relationship. So our projects expect you not only to work hard, but also um, to stimulate the local people with each other, and uh, yeah, uh, become good friends. Um, please don't take too many Japanese girls to marry because in our history there are 70 married couples but most of them are Japanese girls and uh, uh, Western boys. so uh, we should make more balance we say Japan is cool and kawaii well our strong point is maybe to work hard and to work together uh, and the uh, weak point is we are bit too much influenced by the other people. So we don't insist on ourselves, but uh, try to be same as other people. For sure, you have to go to hot spring and be naked and enjoy uh, with other people. Be ready to eat and enjoy rice three times a day. And uh, we have a variety of food, as you may know, like uh, su sushi or tempura or um, hot food, hot pot food, and so um, I believe you can enjoy it very much. Well, Japanese people are also without speaking English, thus we are quite shy to speak. So, but still, if you are losing your way in the cities, there will be some people who try to help you. So uh, I think the point is just to try to communicate. At this point, Japanese people are, I think, quite friendly to you, so don't worry. The best crunch I have ever seen is this scarf uh, made by my daughter. It's really good. Otherwise, uh, you can also make your chopsticks or cup from bamboo trees by yourself. And it can be a good souvenir for you. Because it's me. Uh, I think uh, Doraemon is a cartoon uh, character who helps uh, the boy always. Uh, he's one of the highest hero. Or maybe Miyazaki Hayao, uh, cartoon director, is also very um, famous and popular. Hey, you guys! This kind of thing, way of saying, is not appreciated in Japan, especially for elder people. In Japan, uh, we respect elder people, so we need to be very polite. Well, if you meet a stranger on the street, usually we just say, Oh, today is so cold or warm. The so weather is the easiest topic to, to share. And if you talk with the young generation, uh, it's really dangerous to talk about politics, then they will be immediately disappeared. 
So usually Japanese people uh, keep a bit more distance than European people to speak together or to sit together. But uh, it depends on the case. If uh, there will be a very nice, uh, beautiful man or lady, maybe they don't like to be a bit closer. Yeah, again, it also depends on the partner, but uh, usually we don't look the people so strongly, but also it's impolite if you don't see the people and talk. And in Japan, the people don't express their feelings so strongly. So even if I'm angry, I try to, you know, put it in my insight. So if you express too loudly, maybe people don't appreciate you. Well, it depends on the level. If you just you know, shake hands or you know, a bit like hug, it's fine. But if you start taking off your clothes on the street, of course, people will really mind. So it, we are not that open for expressing or showing uh, love in front of people. Well, traditionally, um, we used to have quite conservative way uh, at this point. Like uh, women are supposed to stay at home or do all the housework, even grown up with children, especially after the Second World War. But uh, yeah, uh, recently there is a big change. The like younger generation, uh, they share the task with the uh, house things uh, more equally. And for sure, women are more stronger actually in many cases. Uh, for example, if you write a letter in red color, it's bad because it shows like blood. And also in the funeral ceremony, uh, hopefully you don't have such occasion to come, but uh, uh, you are supposed to wear only black and white, so it's more serious color. Clearly we have a super collective pop culture, so yeah, it's very good to be together. Many, too many Japanese people believe in the character by blood type. Uh, on the surface, you don't see that Japanese people are so pious. Uh, like we don't go to the church or the temple. Or, uh, but I think inside, in our heart, there are still some traditional spirit or uh, religions. Before coming to Japan, please practice to use chopsticks because this is the, otherwise you will be hungry all the time in Japan.